Greetings Earthlings and welcome back. My name is Casey if you were new here. It's Monday, tomorrow's Tuesday. I'm posting this Tuesday, so today's my birthday. Hello! Welcome. Welcome. Please. Welcome. Welcome. Remain seated. Welcome. 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 Stay calm. Welcome. And if you can, please enjoy the show. To me, baby, I can't put it in words. You don't know how much you give to me, baby. You keep making me learn. Yeah. It's pretty weird because to be honest, it feels like yesterday I was turning 21. Like it's just, it's so crazy that I'm 34. Like it feels weird to say that. And in a lot of ways, I still feel like my 20 something self. But when I reflect, I'm like, wow, like a lot has actually changed. So today I'm gonna share 34 lessons with you that I've learned on this journey um, over the past 34 years and I'm also going to be sharing this look with you guys I'm actually going to be doing this look on Valentine's Day me and hubby will probably do dinner or something like that So um, yeah, I have a look for you guys and we're gonna chat should be fun give it a thumbs up it shows me that you care also turn on notifications if you have not yet done that I'm gonna start off by moisturizing I'm gonna use the Freck cactus vitamin C moisturizer I've only used this a couple times I really love that moisturizer it's super lightweight ultra hydrating this is vegan friendly it has no alcohol I feel like it's really hard to find products with no alcohol in them. Next, I'm gonna go in with my eye cream. I'm gonna use the Freck So Jelly Cactus Eye Jelly with Plant Collagen. I'm new to this product as well, and I really like it. In my 20s, I didn't care about eye cream. I never used it. I hit 30, and I dabbled in it. Now that I'm 30, 34, mid 30s i do not play when it comes to eye cream like i have to apply eye cream even if i don't do my makeup like i still go in with the eye cream just because i just notice such a huge difference when i go in with eye cream and when i don't um this under eye area just it looks so much better for foundation i'm gonna use the laura mercier flawless fusion ultra long wear foundation i'm in the shade shell tone it's actually my husband's birthday as well we have the same birthday I know a lot of you guys know that but some of you may not yeah he's turning 37 we actually celebrated over the weekend we went to Fleming's which is a steakhouse here in Tucson oh, it was just so nice it was such a nice weekend and then it was my son's birthday February 3rd, Noah turned 12, and we had a birthday party for him yesterday, Sunday. Next, I'm gonna go in with concealer, Too Faced, Born This Way, in the shade Swan. I'm going in with a shade or two lighter for my concealer. So 34 things I've learned in 34 years. I would say the first one, and this is actually gonna be makeup related, I have learned that makeup is just, it's a form of expression. You know, it shouldn't be used to achieve some type of like perfection. That was a big one for me because I, you know, loved makeup so much for a long time. I feel like for the wrong reasons because when I wouldn't wear makeup, I was not as confident. And it's fine that makeup gives us confidence, but it shouldn't be, we should know our worth 
with or without it is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I even like resented makeup for a while there. All right, next I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer in N9. This is a neutral shade and I'm going to use this to contour. <laughs> So next lesson that I learned is people can help you or they can hurt you, but it's up to you if you allow it. For so long, I didn't think that I had control. And that's a beautiful thing about aging. Every year you become a little, a little wiser, right? I'm gonna go ahead and use a brush to blend out my nose contour instead of the sponge just to have more control. I'm going to drag this up a bit. So now that it looks like I stuck my nose in some doo-doo, this will make sense. Basically, I just realized that I, I get to make the choice if I suffer or not. I get to choose. I get to choose. Yeah. I get to choose. I'm gonna bake. I'm gonna use my Huda Beauty setting powder in the shade Cupcake. I'm gonna take this under my eyes, pounce that, and I'm gonna bring that right up to the sides of my nose. lesson uh, that I learned is that we abuse ourselves by our thoughts. Something that I have had to work really hard on is my inner dialogue because I kept running into myself. I kept running into my fears and I you know, couldn't get past them because of my thoughts. All of these stories that I have created over the past my whole life. <laughs> So it's really just like rewriting those stories and creating thoughts that are not abusive. So I'm going to let that loose powder kind of just chill while I go in and contour. I'm going to use the Cheek Parade palette from Benefit and I'm going to take Hula. Yeah, so comparison, that's a big one that I had to work on. A lot of us do this. We compare ourselves to others and oh my gosh, it's the biggest thief of joy if you're trying to be in a place of happiness and joy and you're still comparing yourself to others something you know you got to work on i still work on it i'm not you know um comparison free but i don't do it like i used to do it i used to do it whether it be on social media or you know in real life it's just a really bad habit to get into so next i am going to take nars deep throat blush. I feel like humans have been dealing with comparison for a long time. Like first it was television, right? It was like television, movies, and then social media came, Instagram. And it's like now we have the lives of other people in here in our hand, right? And we're scrolling and we're like, oh my god, her hair is perfect. Oh my god, look at her nice ass expensive ass car. Oh my god, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at that, look at her, look at him. And it is so toxic, seriously. It is so toxic. So once I had the awareness and I'm like, you should, I'm in comparison. Like that's what I've been doing. I've been comparing me to them and that's them and this is me. And it's just so, it's so bad for the soul when you go through life just comparing yourself to others. It's okay to have a shitty ass day. It's okay. Like these things are okay. Next I'm gonna take Benefit Tickle Highlight. I love this highlight so much. I'm gonna take my Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. I'm gonna pop that up here. And something I realized and I, I really wanted to share with you guys, God, this highlight is insane. When you go on a social platform, people are showing you what they wanna show you. People are showing you what they want you to see and you don't get to see everything. You don't get to see all the fuckery, you know? I try to be vulnerable and I try to be as real as I can, but at the end of the day, I'm not gonna post when me and my husband are having a disagreement. So my camera shut off because it was overheating, so I just took that time to do my brows. Um, I do have a eyebrow tutorial for you guys. I'll go ahead and link that down below if you want to check that out. I think we were talking about comparison. 
yeah, so I basically had to stop doing that. Next lesson that I learned was to stop people pleasing. I, I think a lot of us, when we're in our 20s, um, we do a lot of people pleasing. Once I hit 30, I realized what the f I was doing, but it did take some time to work through that. And I feel like I have that pretty much figured out. Um, I know when to say no, I know when to say yes, and I just really have learned to honor my feelings. I'm gonna take Laura Mercier Crimson. Next, I'm gonna take this new lippy from IT Cosmetics, which I love this lipstick formula. This is Stellar, and it's a matte red. Urban Decay uh, Smog Eyeliner and this is just a really beautiful brown. I'm gonna go ahead and sharpen it. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line my eye and then I'm gonna take uh, an angled brush, eyeliner brush, and I'm gonna wing this out. I'm gonna keep this pretty thin too. I don't want to do it too thick. I'm gonna take my eyeliner and I'm gonna put it onto the brush. I'm just gonna like brush it on or stroke it onto the brush. Next thing that I learned was it's okay to cry. We need to cry. When we don't cry, we make things a lot worse. And so yeah, I've just been letting myself cry when I need to instead of trying to, you know, control my tears. Whenever I want to cry, I cry. I cry in my car a lot. <laughs> A lot of women wake up and expect to feel the same every day and that's just not how we work. We are different week to week because of our hormones. So, you know, you might find that in, you know, in a 30 day, 28 day cycle, you have a week where you are feeling super social and you're feeling super social, super outgoing, very extroverted the next week you're feeling super introverted or and you know you're not feeling as happy as you were or you don't have as much energy as you did the week before and then the next week you're completely down you know we go through phases i've learned that i am not the same person i can't be the same person all of the time that's okay another big lesson for me was not taking things personal Again, I think that's a big thing that we do in our 20s, especially here on YouTube. Oh my gosh, you know, being on YouTube, it's inevitable if you have the comments turned on, you know, to get hate and to get comments that may make you feel some kind of way. So back in the day, if I would get like a hate comment, oh my God, I just, I believed everything and anything anyone said. And now I'm like, no. I had to learn the hard way. It's not about me. It really has nothing. To do with me people's opinions have really nothing to do with me and it's a practice not taking things personal and i catch myself every time i do it now as to where before it's kind of like autopilot and i didn't even realize once you have an awareness around who you are like no one can no one can tell you anything about you except for you I am going to take the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette and I'm gonna pick up Amethyst and I'm gonna smudge that on my lower lash line. For my lower lash line, I like using a small brush like this, a small pencil brush. This is the Morphe E36 and this is my favorite brush for that under eye color. I thought my camera stopped recording, I was gonna, I was gonna cry. I can't talk and do this, oh my god. pick up musk and I'm gonna add that in my outer crease and just put this in the crease 
like from the inner to the outer. I don't know why it's so hard for me to talk and do my makeup today. Next, I'm going to go in with some mascara and then I'm going to go in with falsies. So another thing that I learned, when you go to make changes for your health, not everyone is going to be on board because people who aren't ready to change don't want others to change. Another lesson is not every mistake requires a consequence. Especially teenagers. Teenagers, they're at that age where they need to learn lessons in their mistakes, not be punished by them. Another lesson, and this is something no one warned me about, your kid's first heartbreak is heartbreaking. I have a 15 year old and a 17 year old. I'm gonna let my mascara kind of dry down and then um, do my falsies, but I'll just keep kind of chatting with you. Another lesson that I learned, you don't have to finish a book that you don't like. In my 20s, I would start reading a book and like I really wasn't into it, but I'm like, well, I started it, I need to finish it. So I would, I read a handful of books that I didn't even like. I believed that I should finish it because I started it. Don't force yourself to read a book that you're not into. <laughs> Another thing that I've learned to do is to ignore the naysayers. That was a big one for me. I feel like when you hit your 30s, there's a lot of people that are like, all right, it's time to be an adult. You can't dress this way. I think it has a lot to do with conditioning and what we, all of these concepts that our society has created. I don't want to be an adult. It's okay to want magic in your life. In our 20s, it's like, if someone didn't agree with your opinion, or if someone disagrees with your opinion, it's almost like you lose respect. You know, and there's this, again, conditioning around that. Our thoughts and what we have chose to believe in, is it right, is it wrong? If someone else doesn't agree with me, I'm, I'm okay with that. And are my necklaces all my necklaces? What happened to my necklaces? Next lesson is to save. I've never saved ever, ever, ever in my whole life. Well, actually, you know what? When I was in my 20s, I did save, but I didn't save to save, I saved to spend. <laughs> so it's actually one of my 2020 goals is to save more. And because I, I wasn't saving at all. So that's something that I learned, save before you shop and before you pay your bills. One of the things that I know for sure is that you will get through the worst day of your life. There's always gonna be some type of darkness within us all, but there's also a lot of good in us. There is a light <laughs> and you can't have that light without darkness. And I didn't always believe that I could get through certain things, days or moments where I was just like, now is not the time, now is not the time. And I kind of just let my fear take over and control things instead of letting my dreams control things. Whatever it is, you, you're gonna wish that you started earlier. Well, if we start and we don't have the results that we want right away, then I'm not gonna start. But what you don't realize is that it all starts with baby steps. You know, things don't happen overnight or we can't have it all at once. That was, that was a really big lesson is like not having it all at once and learning to take baby steps instead of waiting. Okay, so my camera got hot again and it shut off. I forgot what I was saying. Rude, but we're back. I'm gonna go in with the Ardell Double Wispies. I already put this one on while my camera was cooling off. I'm gonna use the House of Lashes glue, leaving my comfort zone. When I look back, you know, when I reflect on my life, everything that's like awesome in my life was because I did something that scared me. And another thing that I learned is you don't have to be an artist to create. For the longest time, I told myself, I'm not an artist, like who do I think I am? Same with writing a book, I really wanna write a book, but for a while there I was telling myself like, but you're not a writer. Like you don't have to be a runner to run, you don't have to be a writer to write. I've always really just disliked labels, and so do what you love, do what you love to do. You know, I even stopped painting for a while because I'm like, I'm not a painter. I had so many negative, self-sabotaging stories. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, slow down. Another lesson that I've learned is to slow down. I get so like manic, manic. There's always something going on and it's, which makes it that much more important for me to slow down because I can get so caught up in the go, 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 do, do, do. And whether that is carving out an hour 
to do your makeup or carving out an hour to take a bubble bath or whatever it is just slow down and have you time you know or even if you're just communicating slow down <laughs> that was a big one for me because i get so my journal is a place where i brain dump and i get a lot of things out and i'm able to reflect to see like oh okay i'm struggling with this a lot like how can i work through this and the same with meditation when i sit in silence and you know before it took me a really long time to quiet my mind or i would just get really frustrated and i didn't really understand meditation another lesson is making a habit of checking in with myself the whole autopilot thing for me doesn't work so i like to ask myself why are you doing the things that you're doing are these things making you happy check in with myself often and reflect on the choices that i'm making has been so 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 helpful aloe vera plant is amazing for the hair okay so this look is done i think we're close to 34. another thing that i've learned is i went through this phase again i think this is just like a 20s thing i would never wear the same thing too often because i'm like i already wore that and then so i would just like go buy something else because i'm like i already wore that and now i'm like i don't give up <laughs> i want to keep my wardrobe simple i i really want to keep my whole home simple but that that is still like a work in progress it's just finding what you feel good in rather than you know what the trend is something else i learned is that it's you versus you not you versus them whoever them is but for the longest time in my head i'm like it's me versus them and i realized like it's just me versus me really i had a lot of resentment towards a lot of people and i made life tougher than it needed to be and i just i just don't have those same belief systems anymore it's me versus me every single day you're never too old to learn something new dream bigger i hope you enjoyed the tutorial and the little chat i'm ready for 35. <laughs> So I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this video and to those of you I've been on YouTube for a really really long time now and I just want to thank you guys for those of you that are like my OG subscribers that have been with me throughout the years. I'm gonna get emotional! I appreciate you guys! You guys want to participate in sharing a little life lesson leave a comment down below and let me know what is your biggest lesson thus far on this journey of being a human. I want to know. I actually have to go get my kiddos from school very, very soon. So I'm going to clean up the mess that I made and I will catch you guys in the next video.